What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we tap into our innermost creative badass and create the life of our dreams, even if on a dime. It feels so good to be back and be filming and being creative. Um, I have a really fun little DIY project for us today. I'm gonna be doing some like DIY candles with some really beautiful like dried out flowers and some crystals, of course, anything we can put some crystals in. So I'm really excited about it. It makes an awesome gift idea and I didn't even realize it's almost Mother's Day. So today we're gonna learn how to make our own candles and it's gonna be awesome because I love candles and I hope you love candles too because that's what we're doing today. First two stops, I had to go to the crystal shop to get crystals because the ones I got on Amazon didn't make it in time. And then I went to the Dollar Tree to get these mugs. They were a dollar each. I also on Amazon got this dried flower kit. It was literally $10 for all of these flowers, which is insane. I also got some soy wax from Hobby Lobby and this rose and lavender essential oil. And the candle wicks I got on Amazon as well. I will link everything in the description below. But after reading the directions for the wicks, it says to soak it in essential oil. And so I did that and then I put them outside in the sun to dry completely. Then I I came inside and after I was done like washing down the mugs I hot glued the base of the wick to the bottom of the mug once I was done with that I grabbed the wicks and brought them inside and inserted it into the wick holder the directions say to use two wicks for like an extra ambiance so of course I did two wicks this mug had a little water in it so the hot glue didn't work, so I cleaned it out and re-glued it. Alright, so just so that we're all on the same page, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've never done this before. I am not a professional at all but you know what so far my house smells magnificent these oils are amazing and i'm reading the directions right now and it says open the bag of wax and pour the contents into a pouring pot place the pouring pot in another pot that is filled with water to create a double boiler and begin to melt the wax so i am going to this is my only pyrex i have so i'm going to boil if you guys can see this, I'm going to put water inside of this pot and then I'm going to put the Pyrex inside of the pot to melt the wax. And no, I do not have a thermometer, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I also put the oven on warm because it recommends to heat up your like containers before you put the wax in. So um, right before I go do that, I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to have the oven ready so that I can just throw the mugs in the oven to warm them. So fingers crossed that this works. Um, I have faith in myself and yeah, it smells amazing. Good energy. Fill the candles with some good energy, right? <laughs> All right guys, let's freaking do it. So I included clips of my learning curve in this. One thing I learned quickly is that the less water the better. So like this is way too much water. You just need a very small amount that will just heat up the Pyrex. And then I went ahead and put the mugs in the oven on warm so that they're nice and warmed up by the time the wax is done melting. So far it's working. So the first problem I came across was how to get the wax out of the Pyrex and into my mugs. So originally I was like, well, I'll scoop this out, but then I'm like, well, that's not going to work. So something that I realized quickly is that this wax actually takes a long time to cool. So you can actually leave it in that Pyrex 
and turn the water off and like let the bowl cool down and then it'll be cool enough for you to grab with your fingers but you'll see my experimentation with this uh, it was a process okay so first run not too bad i need a better system and i need way more wax than i originally thought so i'm gonna put like five cups of wax in this time and then i like dumped out some of the water in the pot too so there's not so much water so um yeah we're gonna try this again i have a little bit in this coffee cup but adding it on top isn't gonna hurt it at all so so yeah let's uh try the skin from the top and let's see if i can do this a little bit smoother <laughs> All right, so this is the hard part, getting the wax out of the bowl. So I'm hoping that if I have a mitt on and a spatula, then I can kind of work my way down to lift it up. Eek. I took some more water out of it. So we'll try this again. So like I was saying guys, I learned that the less water is better and in my head I figured that this wax was going to cool like really really quick. Like I was shocked how long it took for this wax to cool. So you have some time to like let the bowl cool down a little bit and just let it cool enough for you to grab it with your hands or your fingers or if you have an oven mitt that has like the rubber on the fingers, that would be ideal. So about half of that two pound bag of wax makes for one of those candle mugs. And I'm putting about half of a bottle of essential oil into the wax while it's hot. It's like right before I pour it into the mug. So half a bag of wax and half a bottle of essential oil are kind of my specs for this to make up one candle. So like I said, I was shocked at how long it took these to like start cooling, but stay close because once it starts, it really starts and it goes quick. So I think to get like the effect I wanted where you can like really see everything from the outside of the cup, you might want to like super glue like, you know, some of the flour to it before you pour the wax because I was trying to like get things to stick, but it was a little hard. You literally had to wait until it was like right before it cooled to like stick stuff down there. So I'm just kind of going through and putting all the petals where I want it, adding my greenery to the top, kind of went really quick, but also adding the crystals to the top and just kind of assorting everything how I like it. So the third one is my least favorite. I don't know what happened. There's just kind of a lot going on, so I don't show it as much, but make sure as well when you put the crystal on that it's like right when it's about to completely dry or else it will sink down to the very bottom. So I actually heard that there's a curing process for candles, something you guys might want to look into. I did leave it for a few days and now I'm just cleaning up all the extra wax with hot water and a rag. The last step is just cutting the wicks and then we'll be done and ready to go. So this is what they look like before they burn. I love the way they turned out. They're so aesthetic and they smell really great as well. Honestly, I was kind of nervous to try to burn it. Like what if I did all of this and then the wicks didn't light, you know, or it, you, I don't know. I was just really nervous. So you have to watch what happens next. All right, guys, so now for the burning question. Ha uh -huh. Let's see if these things light up. Ooh. Oh, yes. We did the two wicks, the double wicks for the extra cracking.
You guys, so I'm doing the burn test. Look how beautiful it looks, and it's burning awesome. It just, it really brings it to life. I know I say that way too often, but it just looks awesome. And it smells really good, and it's staying lit, so this project was a success. I love it. I'm never going back to buying candles again. I am so happy that I was able to learn how to make my own candles, and I feel like there's no going back now. I'm burning this same rose one right next to me and it just smells so great. So I'm happy with the way they turned out and I hope that you guys are inspired to make your own candles. If you like this video, if you would just give me a thumbs up and please comment below and let me know who's watching. Say hello. Press that subscribe button for more DIYs, thrift flips, and the occasional lifestyle tip. Guys, I will be seeing you guys next week. But like I always say, love hard, be light, and always have a little faith in your future. See you guys then. Bye.